To be totally honest, with those numbers, this is not HRT anymore. Even if I'm on doctor's prescribed testosterone replacement therapy and my dosage is totally reasonable, no 34-year-old was meant to walk around with double the testosterone that should normally be in his body at that age. What's up folks, it's Uranus from Brussels, welcome to another video. So I've been on HRT for the past 8 years and for the last 6 years I've been on testosterone replacement therapy for dosages of 125 mg per week split into two injections. Now I recently had some lab work done and the results were quite surprising. So normally I always go for tests the day before my next injections to have my lowest levels but this time because of time management I could only go the day after my injection. It turns out my free testosterone was more than double the maximum of the reference range. It might just be too high and not sustainable for TRT. There were also some other blood markers that were quite interesting and out of range. So let's go over my blood work, let's see where my testosterone is and if I need to adjust my dosage and so on. Let's get to it. Alright, so I pinned 62.5 mg of testosterone enantat on Tuesday evening and on Saturday morning. That's classical doctor's prescribed testosterone replacement therapy. I pinned twice per week to avoid to avoid peaks and valleys. So my total testosterone numbers came in at 1400 nanograms per deciliter. That is one day after the injection. So the normal range here in Belgium goes from 300 nanograms per deciliter to 1000. Now that's the range for all ages, whether you're 22 or you're 70 years old, it's the same range here in Belgium. My free testosterone, that's actually the most important one because that is the one that is not bound to SHBG, to sex hormone binding globulin. So that's actually the testosterone that your body can freely use for the tissues. It's readily available. Well, that came in at 62 nanograms per deciliter. The reference range goes from 5 to 28 here in Belgium. So that's more than double the normal range here in Belgium. That's one day after the injection. My SHBG isn't even low. That was 52 and mole. So I'm definitely a high responder to testosterone replacement therapy because I've seen guys spinning twice as much as I do and don't even achieve these numbers. This has to do with the androgen receptors in your body and how you metabolize the testosterone. To be totally honest with those numbers, this is not HRT anymore. Even if I'm on doctor's prescribed testosterone replacement therapy and my dosage is totally reasonable no 34 year old was meant to walk around with double the testosterone that should normally be in his body at that age so i'm pinning twice per week so i actually don't have a lot of ups and downs or peaks and valleys my total t is always between 1200 nanograms per deciliter and 1400 nanograms per deciliter and my free t is always around 60 nanograms per deciliter so anyway it's pretty much always all time high it's great for muscle building purposes but on the long term there are consequences with living with these high numbers all year round you can have mood swings you can have cardiovascular issues high blood pressure it can make your hair thin you can age more rapidly and so on so i will definitely have to talk about it with my doctor during my next appointment the thing is and i'm sure i'm not the only one here if you're a gym guy it's really hard to diminish your testosterone replacement therapy because you're probably thinking that you're going to lose all those precious gains especially for me since i went through puberty thanks to testosterone replacement therapy at the age of 26 i started with levels of 80 nanograms per deciliter so really super 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 low basically nothing and it's hard to lower my dosage actually when you've been through such a story and especially if you're a gym guy 100 transparency here but for long longevity i should definitely lower my dosage and find a balance between muscle building and sustainability i'm on 125 milligrams per week and ideally i should lower my dosage to 100 milligrams and then see uh, where i'm at during the next the next blood test the thing to note is i'm also on finasteride for hair loss one milligram per day and this test i was also on an aromatase inhibitor arimidex 0.25 milligrams per week so not a lot but these two will prevent a big part of your testosterone to convert to dht and also a part of your testosterone cannot convert to 
estrogen. So if it can't convert to estrogen and DHT, your free testosterone will be higher. Speaking about estrogen, my results came in at 40 nanograms per liter and they were flagged as high. Now the thing is here in Belgium, managing estrogen on TRT is really, really difficult because we do not have the sensitive estradiol testing. It's basically the same test here for men and for women. It's just the reference range is different, but it's the same test because in the United States and in Canada in TRT clinics, they have the sensitive estradiol testing because on the normal test you might be flagged as super high but then on the sensitive there are different forms of estrogen you know and on the sensitive you might actually be in range or actually low so with these numbers here in belgium it's really hard to judge if your estrogen is high or low and managing that is a real pain in the ass here in belgium it's like flying without any instruments and i really don't know what to do with those results my endocrinologist is prescribing me 0.5 milligrams of arimidex three times per week so that's 1.5 milligrams now i never took that because i know it's going to totally crash my estrogen i'm taking 0.25 per week and that seems to be enough for me but managing estrogen in this country is really difficult like that Another marker that came back slightly high is my uric acid. This is probably linked with my high protein diet. I'm eating 225 grams of protein per day for muscle building purposes. And because of that, your kidneys have to eliminate a lot of purines. And that can be found in your uric acid, in your blood and in your pee. All other markers like my cholesterol, my insulin, my thyroid hormones were completely Fine, just to make one thing clear before I end the video, my testosterone levels surely are high, but it has nothing to do with steroid cycles like a guy taking 500 milligrams per week. They're high surely, but it's still TRT. Although one of these days I'm going to have to lower my dosage for longevity. All right, ending it here. Leave me a comment to support my channel. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out.